Okay, let's do this. On the right side, you see the result of my code. The drunk and walk algorithm is a simple procedural level generator. However, the quality of the levels vary from decent to low. In my improved code, I get higher quality levels. If you want a copy of this code, you can find a link in the description below. If you want to learn how this code works, I will explain that right now. So I call this the higher quality procedural generation trick. The trick is to generate not just one, but many levels with the drunken walk generator. I modified the algorithm so it also returns the start and final coordinates. Then I evaluate the number of steps it takes to get from the start to the end in each level. I assume that high quality levels take the most number of steps to solve. To get the number of steps, I use the breadth first algorithm. And finally, I sort the levels by steps to get the best level with the most number of steps. So first, I import the random module and set the level width and height. These last two settings are important. I set the amount of generated levels here. These two numbers dictate the quality of the level. Higher numbers mean higher quality levels. And now I import the drunk walk algorithm. If you want to learn how this algorithm works, you can find a link to this video in the description below. I also import the breadth first algorithm. If you want to learn how this algorithm works, you can also find a link in to this video in the description below. So now I use both drunken walk and breadth first to improve the level quality. I generate multiple levels with the drunken walk generator. I evaluate the levels by scoring them on number of steps it takes to solve them. This variable holds all level scores. I loop over each level with the start and end coordinates. I retrieve the shortest solution for the current level. Then I append the evaluations with the length of the solution and the level itself. Finally, I return all evaluated levels. The final step is to bring all the pieces together to generate the best level. I generate an amount of levels. I evaluate these generated levels. I sort the levels on score. I reverse the list so that the highest score comes first. Then I retrieve the highest score and level from the evaluation. I only return the best level. And that's it. Now I can request a best level. The higher the amount of generated levels, the higher the quality of the level. I will print this level on screen. And now I can consistently generate higher quality levels. I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you for watching.